Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy, Joey Does Tech, and welcome yourself back to a brand new video. Today, we take a look at an extremely grubby Nintendo DS Lite, see if we can restore it and make it work. As you can see from the teaser card in the top right-hand corner of the screen right now, we did dive into this a little bit, but not too much on a previous video. I bought the Nintendo DS Lite for £4.20, and the description stated, I offer no guarantee that it will work, but tried on a charger and got no response. So we know that the charger doesn't work. There is no charger included with the DS. The condition is worn with a screens, which has a defect behind the glass, see pics for details. Basically the top screen on the Nintendo DS Lite doesn't work. From what they're saying in the description, we have tried to turn it on, but it's no luck. I have also tried to put a working battery into the DS and still had no response. I intend to clean all of the parts in today's video as well as try to get the DS working. If I can, result, like I'll be happy. If I can't get the DS working because I am rubbish at this sort of stuff, then at least we have some parts for another video potentially. So with no experience whatsoever, let's see if we can get this DS working. Okay, right, so here we have it. The filthy Nintendo DS Lite. You guys can see from this, look at it. Disgusting. If we just quickly take a look around it, the L and the R are completely disgusting as well. Need a very, very good clean, as well as everywhere else, pretty much. It doesn't come with a stylus, unfortunately, but I guarantee that if it did, the condition of that wouldn't have been great. So this is the screen burn that we have at the top of the DS. And at the bottom, we have a couple of scratches on the screen. There doesn't look to be a protective cover on it either, which kind of sucks. So right now, we're gonna take it apart. And like I said before, it doesn't do anything when you try and switch on. As I've stated previously, there seems to be some sort of, I don't know, goo or liquid damage on the inside on the metal shielding, as well as a little bit of rust is what it looks like on the cartridge cover. But let's actually see what the damage is inside. The only good thing about this Nintendo DS is that I don't think anybody has been in it. Starting with the battery case, you can see, I'm gonna have to get the scalpel again, extremely sticky won't come out unless you pry it open. I think this battery is leaked. One of my friends actually sent me a message after and said, I think the battery's leaked, Joey. You need to get that out, like ASAP. I think, yeah, I don't think it's a safe battery, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold it too close to my face. I don't know if these, when they explode, like, I think it's the acid inside that's very dangerous. So I'm just gonna put this over in the far distance for the time being. Yeah, this is fine. At least, at least it's actually, the screws will work. Oh my God, look at the color of this one. The color of this screw is disgusting so rusty it's like got a thick crust over it jeez i wonder if that's the same yeah it's the same deal for all of them and there we go i think that is all of the screws removed so let's go ahead and try and take this apart shall we we just pried it open a little bit look at this disgusting oh my gosh oh what has happened there we go look at that it's just filthy man look at that this video could be a waste of time <laughs> because it could have some sort of water damage that oh dear so i have no idea what to look for when i'm looking at a nintendo ds that is just completely ruined there seems to be like damage on the cable here on the ribbon cable for the bottom screen is that that is screwed that's the volume man that's the volume there's a lot of damage to the motherboard like I've just ran my finger across it. So that's clean. This finger's clean. If I just do that, look at that. And that's pink. <laughs> so I'm assuming this has definitely been water damaged and everything's fried. It has to be right. There is no way that this works. Am I correct? I've got to be correct. Like there is no way that this works. My basic, basic knowledge and understanding of how a Nintendo DS Lite works and how I see some people make them work is to just give the motherboard a once over with a cotton bud and some IPA. It's most probably not gonna work, but let's give that a go. I wanna take the motherboard out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. I wanna take the motherboard out and give it a proper clean. I believe, uh, what was the white one again? The white one, the black one's the antenna, the white one is the microphone. There must, I mean, there must be people out there who are able to restore stuff like this. And that's, that's the level I wanna get to. I wanna be able to repair and restore things that are in this condition because this is hideous. Um, a lot of people remove this, I don't because I just don't really see the need to. I just kind of prop this up with a prying tool. There we go. And then just pull out the ribbon cable very slowly. 
make sure I don't damage it. So that's now off. That screen one is, this is where it's bust. This, 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 this here is completely screwed. Let me turn the brightness up, sorry, on the um, camera, two seconds. Can I do this whilst I'm recording? I think I can, yeah, there we go. This is stiff, man. Like that did not want to come out. So that's off now. Can I not remove the screen from there? Oh, it's just so sticky. Look underneath. Look at that, that's damage, right? Is that water damage? Jesus Christ. Again though, this is interesting, man. This is, this is the type of stuff that we need to learn. Look at it, it's absolutely screwed with rust. This side of the, the PCB looks like no issues whatsoever. And then if we go to the other side, <laughs> that's where we seem to have all of the issues. We turn it round, again, there's a little bit of white here to be fair. But then the further we go up, this is screwed here completely. Don't know what that is. And then we've obviously got the volume button where the screen is, is completely rusted don't know if we're going to be able to do anything but tell you what first thing we're going to do is grab a trusty toothbrush which we have here just seeing if there's anything like loose dirt i think that we can get off first of all is the number one priority not doing anything too hard or harsh i know there's a lot of people out there now that are probably thinking joey this is done like let this one go man but i'm determined to at least try and figure out why it's not working there's a lot of things on here that could, you know, as to why it's not working, I guess. But if anyone out there in the comments has any information, oh my God, I'm just breathing in a load of like rust, I think. Any information on this topic of like broken DSs that look unrepairable, just in the comment section below and let me know what's going on. That'll be much I'm going to get my mask because I feel horrendous. Okay, now we take our isopropyl alcohol and just give this a quick clean. Put it back together and see if we have any difference whatsoever. That's probably as best as we're gonna get the volume slider switch in terms of how nice it actually looks. I just need to give uh, everything else a quick rundown, including the power stuff to see what's going on there. I'm not gonna go any deeper than what I have now. I mean, I've cleaned the bottom screen as well as the motherboard as best as I can with some IPA, a toothbrush, etc., etc. So we're gonna see how this goes. I can't get this white stuff off the back. I don't know what it is. I think it might be water damage, but we'll see. I'm gonna put it back together and get a working battery into the DS to see if that makes a difference. I have already put a working battery in before I'd done any of this and it was a no-go, it didn't work. So let's do that right now. So we'll just hold it here, I think. That's enough. And then, <laughs> it's not happening. Guys, it's not working. Okay, right. Let's just, okay, I'm gonna put it back together now. I'm gonna put it back together. It doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, the motherboard itself I will like to keep so I can do some further testing and see if I can eventually get it working. But 
I think as for the rest of it, I'm just gonna have to strip the parts, put them in the wash and see how they get on. There's a lot of cracks on this and obviously a lot of rust and dirt. So I will see if I can get this majority cleaned, I think is the way to is the way to say it. But again, there's a lot of there's a lot of cracks here. I mean the DS itself is functional. I could I could take the power, I could take the, the volume slider, I could give all of this a thorough clean. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you what, what we're gonna do. Post-production Joey here. I didn't finish my sentence. What we're gonna do is give it a good old clean. Okay, so now we've actually managed to clean everything. The last thing that I'm gonna do is slap a little bit of IPA over the volume slider just to give it the finishing touches that it needs to be clean. There is no point in me, put, I did have a think, there is no point in me putting everything back into the DS because it just doesn't work. So that, that would be completely pointless. However, just so you guys can see what it went from to, I will put everything back in it. <laughs> And here we have the final result. Now, it's a lot better than when we started is where I'm gonna go with this. If we take a bit of a close up, you can see that there is still some yellowing on the console in a lot of the places, especially the L and the R. There's the volume button. If we compare that to what it was at the start of the video, it's night and day. Here's the back as well, the battery cover. Everything's clean in here. There's no battery. I've taken the battery out. Also the slot as well is a lot better. I've cleaned up the metal inside as well. So the DS overall looks a lot better than what it did to start with, which is wicked. This is the inside. The All the buttons now look, again, a lot better than what they did at the start. There's the power, the power switch as well, the on and off. The stylus compartment was a little bit dirty. You managed to get in and around that area to make it a little bit cleaner. There is still dirt around the sides, as you can see, a little bit of, you know, yellow in and grit and I was gonna say mold. That's not mold, it's just worn away. I think the, where the paint's worn away, so you're not gonna be able to clean that. But yeah, it doesn't look too shabby. And again, there's a little bit of yellow in up here, but I'm really, really happy with the results. I've put it back together exactly how it was. So yes, it still doesn't work. However, I am gonna do another video where, I was thinking about this just now, I take this, the insides of this Nintendo DS that we have, where the hinge is completely screwed, but it works. I was about to say, if it didn't turn on, then that would be really, really embarrassing. But this one does work. I'm gonna take the PCB out of this and put the PCB into this Nintendo DS case because the case itself, do you know what? It's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, to be fair. There's a tiny little crack where the hinge is, but it's not affecting the hinge at all on the device. Whether that might wear away and might affect it going forward, possibly. But for now, for the time being, no issues. Everything's gone back on nicely. The rubber pads, they could obviously do with a little bit of a clean. And the top, the top hand side of the DS is absolutely fine. I haven't put some of the stuff back in this. So for example, I've still got the antenna wire here, as well as the uh, the microphone. Now these are probably gonna work. I mean, you know, they are water damaged, but I doubt it would have corroded or broken the parts on these. So I'm gonna put these in the spare parts bin that I have. So just to summarize, we weren't able to fix this DS. However, we managed to restore it to a reasonable standard. I do in fact have more videos to come that I'm still working on. This is what we do on this channel. We attempt, we learn, we tried isopropyl alcohol on a motherboard that looked absolutely gone. And it was in fact, absolutely gone. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see future content from myself. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.